Hi everyone and welcome to another attic installation video. This video will cover the slope ceilings as I previously mentioned in the last week video. So slope ceilings include cathedral ceilings, vaulted ceilings, however you want to call it, and single slope ceilings as well. Now with these types of ceilings, you're looking at typically batted or sheet insulation of R32 or R40. And these sheets fit in between the trusses or the rafters. Now within your beautiful slope ceiling, you're going to also find pot lights, uh, which will have pot light covers. And so all of those, the trusses and the pot lights are the areas that usually have a lot of heat loss because it is hard to insulate them. So if you are able to access the other side of this slope ceiling within the attic, then you're able to add insulation, so loose fill, on top of all of those cavities in between the sheets of insulation. That is definitely going to fix those heat loss issues. If you're not able to do that, well, unfortunately, those are the areas that uh, will have heat loss. So even with spray foam insulation, uh, you're still going to have those gaps if you don't have access within the attic to cover uh, those 2 by 10 trusses. The other thing as well, uh, if you have space on the attic side, so you can have within your slope ceiling uh, a truss system that's uh, made of 2 by 4s. So you're able to actually fit a bat or sheet of R40 instead of just R32. Because in R32, uh, you need a 2x10 at least. So if you only have a 2x10, you can only put a sheet of R32 and you can't put a sheet of R40. What I want to also discuss is how important it is to be careful if you are going to attempt this on your own. Make sure that you understand how to do this safely. Plan out your route. Find out you know which uh, two by fours are installed solid uh, because some crossers sometimes they only have the one nail uh, attached to them so you definitely want to make sure that your footing is solid before you climb over top and the other thing too is now you're stepping on slope surface versus a flat surface so if for instance you're working during the winter or during rainy season the underside of your boots are going to be wet and so you step on those two by fours it's going to be slippery so you definitely always want to have a good foothold some sloped ceilings that I have done are difficult because this one, for instance, I only had two feet of clearance. When that happens, I get the hose as far as possible and then to angle it uh, towards the edges, start the machine, get it filled up. I'm going to use more bags, but at least the job is going to get done better. I have for you a little time lapse that I did um, of me installing an R20 on top of a slope ceiling. So here we go. Enjoy. Uh, you see the final product here much better. All the gaps are filled and it's uh, definitely going to help with uh, the heat loss. If you like this video, give a nice thumbs up and uh, click on the subscribe button below. I haven't decided yet uh, next week on Tuesday what video I'm going to post. It could be a big house that I did. Uh, so those are always fun to look at. Okay, so I will see you next week.